When you mention zebra or quagga mussels in the Great Lakes region, it's usually in a negative connotation, which makes sense. These two species are ruining the Great Lakes environment. But scientists visiting from NOAA's national headquarters are finding a pretty unique way to use the mussels to measure another potential threat to the Great Lakes region. They're very good sentinel organisms for monitoring the uptake or the possibility of uptake of, of uh, chemical contaminants in any kind of biological organism. Ed Johnson is a senior scientist for NOAA and is part of a national monitoring program that studies the effects of chemical contamination through bivalves like mussels, clams, and oysters. Ed's team tracks how chemicals that we humans intake and excrete affect species in the Great Lakes. So why these two invasive species? We all share a lot of the same DNA. So we, as organisms, respond uh, in many ways similarly to stressors, including chemical stress. The scientists executed dives to recover the mussels from Lake Huron. They now will dive deeper into the effects of these newer chemicals on the mussels. Those indicators that we measure from biological response can help us understand what the potential cause of that response is. The results will help pinpoint what chemicals are potentially harmful to not only humans, but our underwater friends as well. We still have one.